This is the Pine Whispers boarding house here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This boarding house was built in the 1920s to be a getaway from the cameras for the rich and famous. The house was down the street from the Ocean Forest Hotel in a more quiet area of the town. This house is now a residential home owned by Susan Lynch. How did you come to find out about this house's historical value? When we first bought this house, um, we knew that it was incredibly old. And then the history of the boarding house, we found out one day a man pulled up in our driveway and he came up and we were talking to him and his last name was Vickers. And I had found an old sign down in the basement that said, um, Pine Whispers, the Vickers and it was a sign for the old boarding house. And he apparently was the grandson of the lady who ran it as a boarding house. He's the one that told us about the movie stars that used to stay here. And it was a boarding house in the 30s, 40s, up through there, even into maybe the early 50s. A lot of the people that stayed at the Ocean Forest Hotel were movie stars. And I know that Betty Davis, she used to come here and stay. And so there was a number of people that have stayed in this house. There's four rooms upstairs that they used to use as boarding houses, but everything in the back has been added on. So it was just the, the front part and the four rooms upstairs in the original house. This house was built by one of the brothers. There was three roads that came into the Ocean Forest, Hampton Circle, Poinsett, and Calhoun. Calhoun was the road that had the stables, on those horse stables up on the corner up there. And then I think Hampton Circle took it to the golf course, it was all tied in with the, what is now the um, Pine Lakes Golf Course, but it was all one huge resort. And this house was built by one of the brothers. I'm not sure why, if he was, if he ever lived in it, I don't know. And they were building other houses in through here. And I've got the, the plan that they had laid out in the original um, plans with it. Awesome. Currently, Susan Lynch is attempting to make the old Pine Whispers boarding house into a new bed and breakfast. She has been trying to work with the city of Myrtle Beach to get it approved, but because it is now considered a residential area, she has been denied on several occasions. She has gotten lots of media attention because of her perseverance. Susan tells us that she won't stop trying until she gets it approved. She wants the legacy of Pine Whispers Boarding House to live on and tell her guests all about what old Myrtle Beach used to be.